What's going on uh, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs. As you see it man, we're currently on the 50cc scooter and we in Modesto, California today. Town I've not done no video vlogs in so I hope you guys enjoy the new scenery. I'm making my way back into Turlock. It's about 19 miles away though. So with that being said you guys man, enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, okay? We'll just take it as it comes out here. Don't know what I'm going to bring up to talk about, but we'll think about something. You know what, if I want to get on track here, let me see, I'm going to get onto a road that I'm familiar with. All these lights seem to be on a uh, going haywire. Stop and go. I hate coming to this town, guys. It's just too much of a fast lane. I like. Sherlock it seems to be a little bit more mellow, more uh, laid back than Modesto. I would not do good living in the city. Like San Francisco, LA, I would not do good in those towns or those cities. Here's the bus center you guys at Modesto. You know, uh, when I used to commute on the buses, I always used to come to this here, like that red and white bus over there, that would be the one that bring me from my hometown of Turlock to over here, then I would hop on one of these here uh, Modesto buses. But uh, yeah, I've seen my days, my day share of this here bus stop, man. The bus center here. I don't miss it one bit. The wisest choice was buying this here scooter, you guys. Now I'm actually traveling on my own, on my own watch, you know, my own time. I wasted so much time, man, sitting at the bus centers and bus stops waiting for a bus to come. It's terrible having to do that day in, day out. I mean, taking a bus once in a while, all right, I, that's all right. But if you got to always travel, you got to travel every single day, you got to ride it every day of the week, it gets very much time consuming, man. This idiot is going to wreck into me, watch. I'll slow down for him. Something tells me I feel like going on 9th Street, you guys. I hear a lot about 9th Street here in Modesto, so how about we go cruising 9th Street right now? like oh okay <laughs> I got caught in my words I was gonna hop over to the southern lane but that car just ended up going around me this is April 30th 2021 guys and this weather's feeling oh man warm I feel like just getting in my tank top my, my muscle shirt you know but I'm not gonna be riding down the road like that Feels good not being all suited up in my uh, warm mo motorcycle gear that I normally wear every morning. Got a regular t-shirt with a thermal underneath. Regular jeans on, regular boots. Just, just dressing casual today. I like this bridge right here. It's gonna be a fun ride on the scooter. But down there is the Tuolumne, Tuolumne River. I don't know how much of it we get to see being on the scooter.
here's Ninth Street, guys, of Modesto, California. It's got its rumors about it, boy. But it doesn't really look like much. Come nighttime, early mornings, though, it's a little sketched out. Especially these here motels right here. Watch. This motel right here. Good lord. Talk about the slums. <laughs> you know what? If I go straight, I think that's going to be the freeway if I'm right. I'm going to have to turn left right here, you guys. I sure in the hell don't want to go no freeway. We'll follow the motorcycle, show. <laughs> we follow the motorcycle. He's gonna end up leaving me in the dust, watch. Bumpy ass roads, man. I'd be happy to get the 150cc scooter, man, with the 13-inch uh, wheels instead of the 10-inch. Should make some difference. The little the wheels, the more the bumps and stuff you feel. So I'm hoping that the 13-inch wheels will give me a smoother ride, you know. Be jamming right now. We must be going with the wind. Whoa, crap! Bottom out right there on that pole. Damn, hit hard. <laughs> I don't know if you guys really noticed it in my voice, but damn, that started the hell out of me. Here we are again with the motorcycle guy. Is this going to be domestic violence, guys? Yeah, look, if I would have stood on that uh, road, I would have been right there on the freeway, guys. I don't know, I would have came up there to that overpass up there. That's right. We'll go straight from right here. Oh, okay, start turning already. <laughs> the guy that was coming down to the like the guy that was uh, he's gonna end up being right behind me right now. Over by the that right right before we hit the bridge, I went over the bridge. He was on the side of me right here. I was looking at him uh, pick his teeth or something, and then uh, he went a different route. I went a different route. And then we met up in the same spot, the same spot right here. What a trip! That means that my my 50 cc scooter is going just as fast as his car is. To the right would be the Highway 99, the freeway. So if I just stick on this here road, it'd take me all the way into my hometown of Turlock. Man, this mirror has a tendency of sliding down all the time. You gotta push up on it with my thumb. In a little while, it'll be down again got to tighten it more give it more of a twist with the screwdriver there's a, a SRC what that is is a drug and rehabilitation center so basically uh, people check themselves in right there either court ordered or just because they want to get off of the substance and Depending, I, I think they got a 21 day in stay, like you stay there for 21 days. And then they got outpatient as well. <laughs> I 
Man, this pickup's going off the road, man. What's this problem? Must be on his phone or something. That or under the influence of something. Swerving way too much, swaying back and forth. Keeps on going over this line, going over that line. Should we light them up? <laughs> no doubt if I was a cop, I think it, the cop would. Series High School in front of us. Trying to open up my visor, I'm starting to suffocate. Damn, I would help if I turn on my tail lights and stuff. Extra caution, extra security. I don't think you need to do that in the day like in the daytime. But I like to do it because uh, if it brings extra visual for the person behind me or you know extra security that my red light happens to glow bright enough then why not man my ankles be itching you guys ever have that problem when you're wearing socks above your ankles and it's warm out here yeah the itch in your ankle feels so damn good that's what I'm doing right now go up a little bit more dude Should we hit the freeway, you guys? No, nah, hell no. I hear a few of you saying, yeah, but man, I ain't gonna do it, you guys. I can't. Because think about it, I'll be putting other people in uh, jeopardy as well, not just my own self. So with that being said, yeah, I gotta think of other people too. But if I really wanted to, it would've been that way. Nice little park, huh? Look at the casebo right there, whatever you call it. Nice green grass. Be nice to get home, man. Starting to feel like I need to get up and stretch a little bit. Starting to bounce around in my seat trying to adjust myself. So I figured I rode 18 miles there. It was only off the scooter for about five minutes, maybe eight minutes at the most. Jumped right back on for another 18 mile, 19 mile ride back home. So almost a 40 mile trip back to uh, going and coming today, round trip, going to the dental office. Breeze feels hella good. Still recording.
<laughs> Should we go right up that dirt that dirt trail right there? That'd be something uh, heading right up on there on that embankment. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to get out right here a bit. It's just like there's a blind corner for me up there. Look at all this traffic coming. And a lot of traffic coming that direction as well. So how are we gonna do this? I thought he was gonna turn right here. I was gonna give him some room. All right, looks like we got a clearing coming up right now, you guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, there's that road's blocked off, so I'm gonna have to go straight. People that's turning right hit the freeway have no other choice, so do not want to go to the freeway. How much battery do I got on this thing? A for a little country right now. Hey, horsey. Damn, hella grass, huh? Wouldn't you just love cutting all that with just a regular lawnmower? Let's jump it, guys. Yeah. Well, we stop sure is. We ride in the country today, guys. We're just out cruising and hopping in the country. I remember those antennas. The rotary kind that would... I remember my grandma. My grandpa, they would have one and uh, inside the house. It would be on an electric rotary dial. And uh, if the TV's not coming in too good, then you're going to want to face it a different direction. Like, if it's facing east, you want to try west. 
and then that thing you turn that rotary dial and it da, 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 da. <laughs> that was back in the early 80s I mean mid 80s late 80s I believe to early 90s is it a four-way hell no it ain't no four-way I shouldn't have even pulled out in front of that car the way I did. But what happened was I hit the throttle after the car passed by going this way and I said oh, I might as well keep up with it man. I don't want to end up in the middle of the road. Look at this man, damn scumbags out here throwing away stuff like this. That's a damn dirtbag move. I feel a little bit cooler now not much but usually when you're uh, riding around the city it's always hot and you come out to the country and uh, it gets a little cooler especially in the evenings and early mornings nighttime You know what's going to feel good after riding this scooter for so many miles? Is going to go inside the AC house, get something to eat, something to drink, lay down and get on the YouTube, watch the program or something. It's going to feel good, man. Take a little napper. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Imagine that hot summer be hella shade right there it smells like horse manure where's the horses at oh look at these dogs they're coming guys <laughs> These almonds are starting to get green and bigger and pretty soon they're going to be ready to eat and harvest. Way out here in the damn country. I'm all sitting on the very back of the seat. A little heads up guys, a little advice, something, some good subject to talk about is when you're heading like full throttle like this going fast and there's a squirrel something coming out here, don't try to weave man. Best thing to do is just stay on path guys. I've seen it happen a lot of times man um, when somebody tries to not, you know like the main thing, the, the first thing to worry about is you. You don't want to get hurt. So the best thing to do on something like that is just continue on, man. No matter if you have to hit the squirrel or something, man. Because you don't want to wreck. If you start swaying real quick, man, the chances are you're going to throw yourself right off your motorcycle, your scooter, your moped. And you're going to get hurt bad, man. And don't want to see that happen to none of, nobody, you know? So always keep in mind, what are you going to do if something darts out in front of you? 
And now if it's a dog, yeah, you're gonna want to weave, man. Get to try to not hit it as best as you can. But if it's something little, such as like a little jackrabbit, little um, squirrel, something like that. And I mean, I love animals, guys. But don't get me wrong, I think the best thing to do in that scenario, that predicament is uh, stay on track, stay on course. Yard sale way out here? Are you kidding me? Man, how long have I been driving or riding out here in the country, guys? I've never seen a yard sale out in the boondocks like this. They must have... Look at all that firewood. Good Lord. Heck of firewood. These people must sell firewood, no doubt. And he's out there chopping up more of it right now, guys. Yeah, he man, that is a trip. He got hella firewood out there chopped up. He's all doing it by axe too. I see him out there with the axe. So imagine out there chopping uh, firewood with the axe all day long. Good lord. Let's see what kind of irrigation system this guy's got. It's not on the ground. He does that so he can mow up the weeds and whatnot. So he's got it tied from tree to tree, weaved in. He's got the tied off at the end tree, of course, but he just weaves it through one tree and out through another. I've never seen the irrigation like that, above ground like that. It's always been on ground, you know? Not a bad idea. I'm gonna have to swap out my GoPro battery. It looks like we're gonna need a battery right now. This guy need to wash his windshield, don't you think? Hell, of freaking dusty looking. All right, here I am. Let's continue this ride. Got a new battery in and uh, ready to ride some more. Up here on the shoulder of this here um orchard field feels good sitting here in the shade after riding for like maybe 16 miles when you're feeling every uh bump and cranny on the side of the road man or on the road as you're traveling in on these 50 cc's sure feels good to get off the bike for a little bit all right back on the road again Oh man, Keys Road is a very busy road. Let's see. Yeah, this one be jamming like 70 miles an hour, so let me let this guy go first. Alright, so if you get out there, let me slow down. Yeah, on Keys Road right here, there's been plenty of accidents on this here road. It's known for people to be speeding. It's your way out in the country. And it's a long stretch of a road. This road goes on for miles and miles. So a lot of people do put the pedal to the metal. Yeah, I think I want to get off this road right here. Turn right. There's a, a lot of people are coming on my tail end already. A lot of cars are, man. Great view, guys. Right at the end of this here block, way up there, it'll be Turlocks. We're gonna be in the urban living style of uh, Turlock, you know, no more country. This is the last stretch of country road right here. Today I went on a good run, even though the run to the dentist was uh, basically a bump run, guys. Yeah, I got over there and my dentist appointment, it really upset me this morning. So she talked to me over the phone two days ago and told me uh, bring in my insurance card. I read her the numbers over the phone. I get over there and there's something whole, totally different, man. So I was a little upset I left without doing any business with them. But uh, I really enjoyed the ride, man. The ride going up there, the ride coming back has really been joy uh, joyful.
before I made the purchase of this 50cc scooter, I never thought that it would be able to go full throttle for so long, you know? I thought these things probably would overheat, don't run at full throttle more than a mile or two miles straight. And I was way off on what I really knew about these scooters. And this thing just went right now 20 miles, pretty much full throttle the whole dang way. And uh, back in town right now, so that's 20 miles that way, 20 miles back, 40 miles round trip. Doing great. 13 months I've had this scooter, man, and I, like I said, it surprised me uh, a whole lot. The performance of this scooter really surprised me that I wanted, I had to buy another one of a greater CC, you know, bigger engine. There's the veterinarian. to get to the lights before this traffic catches up to me this is one of the, one of those other busy roads that people to haul ass on nice little view Whenever I get the 150cc scooter, man, we're going to end up doing uh, some nice rides out to the lakes. To the river, to the lakes. Start exploring out some uh, greater distances than what I've been doing with the 50cc scooter. Must be a nice little jog running the canal banks out here. See that girl jogging right now. If I was out jogging, I think I would love to be running the canal banks myself. Well, here's going into Tur uh, Turlock now. This is entering Turlock, California. Turn green light. One. I bet you we'll make it to the next light. Hey, I bet you'll turn green. There it goes. Off to the right of me right here, guys, on May 8th, which is nine days away. Today's April 30th, 2021, but I'll be coming for my second Pfizer shot, however you pronounce it. The COVID shot, uh, Pfizer, I believe it's P-H-I-Z-E-R. So yeah, they give it out right here at the university. So I would turn in this road right here and follow way back there. Lane, it looks like cop pulled over somebody up here
Oh man, just like I'm gonna acknowledge me. Oh, there's a car behind me, so it will. But I was the only one sitting here. I would be a little sketched out about sitting here any longer. But usually when there's cars behind me, like right now, the light will turn. A little warm out here, man. Here we go. This road. Man, I love riding uh, motorcycles or scooters, stuff like that. Two wheel motorized uh, vehicles, man, they're neat. It's a different feeling than like riding in a car. And I love riding two wheel machines. I'm kidding man, it's 35 miles an hour. If I'm full throttle, the scooter does about 35 miles an hour. Oh, I just cut on to that man, have a fun. Get out my way. How dare you make me put on my brakes now. <laughs> Nice little Corvette. I don't know, man. As I, I was growing up, I had a friend that I would go. That alone is a hazard. You can't see out your windshield correctly. Where the heck am I at? I guess we'll go this way, guys. Something, man. Just riding out in the country. You <laughs> don't even know where the hell you're at home somewhere that way a bit so I'm just going to go where my instincts tell me we don't we have gas yeah look at man I've been riding for a long time already man and that thing's still on full I bet you if I open up my gas uh, tank the lid I bet you I got like a half a tank or a little less but it's still working full been like that for two days man but that's why whenever it starts coming down it comes down quick what I believe is when the gas tank got about that much that much uh, gas in it that's when it starts coming off a of full because I noticed when it comes off a of full within 20 miles or less it will be at empty so it rides for a whole hundred miles without even coming off a of full and then the 20 miles that it's got left, it's coming down pretty quick. 
not too nice, you know. But it could have been worse. It could not have been notifying me at all. It could have been broke, you know. 20 miles uh, notice is good enough notice for me. Man, I'd be jamming. Scooter really doing good. I am going to have to change this GoPro battery, so I want some shade, guys. I need some shade. There we go. Thought I'd climb up here real quick. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Let me swap out this battery. Spent the night at his house. He had a lot of motorcycles and whatnot. So I always liked going to Lance Darnell's house. You know, that was his name. So I was in grade school. I think I was in the sixth, seventh grade, something like that. But yeah, I'd have a go stay the night on a Friday and then uh, come back home on Sunday. That Sunday evening, but I have a blast riding these motorcycles over at his house. His mom had a Corvette. It seemed like it was always breaking down. It was nice, beautiful, brand new, but something always freaking needing work done on it. So, uh, in my mind, I'm thinking Corvettes ain't the car to get that can break down a lot. But I'm not a mechanic. I don't know. Just thinking back to what I saw as a kid. Beautiful car. Often was always up on uh, jacks getting worked on, you know, or in the shop. It's a shame. Nice, beautiful car, muscle car, and whatnot, just breaks down too much. Now it's getting hot out here, guys. If I'm not catching that breeze, it's freaking hot. I need to get home now. I think I'm only like a mile away from being home. Nice shady park for a hot day, huh? Got the sprinklers going way over there. Got the canal bank right here for those that prefer the canal. <laughs> Oh boy, in my country life, when I grew up in the country, I did a lot of canal swimming, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, our swimming pool was the canal. Some of these bumps freaking, some of them hurt actually, but man, you hit them too hard and it freaking makes your damn wrist and everything hurt. I've checked out my wheels, I was thinking, man, I had some good bumps so far in my life, you know, with this scooter. The last year I've been riding it, but I got some straight rims, you know. I check on YouTube, I check out a lot of these channels that I see people got hella bent up rims as their tires going, I see it wobbling. It's from all the potholes and being reckless with it, you know. Just riding on regular roads the way I do, I, I get, I've hit a few nice potholes that made me check my wheels out. Made me think, did I just bit my rim? But so far, so good. All right, guys, we're on the last stretch. I'm going to end it out at this here little liquor store. I want to stop at this liquor market to get some milk jerky well guys it's been a pleasure man nice riding with you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know I got way way uh, too much uh, time recorded here so I'm gonna get home and see see what I'm going to upload for you guys and what I'm going to not upload, you know? But I'm going to see what I can do for you guys as far as video-wise today. I know I've been lagging on my videos. So I haven't been uploading like I should. Well, man, with this being all said and done, guys, it's been great. Like I said, everybody be safe, stay healthy. 
and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.